Uh, so I've come in on a Sunday for this one. Um, I've been trying to film this shit like during my week when I'm actually working, but I just fucking forget. It doesn't really work. Um, so I'll come in today. I should be able to stand up most of this roof. Um, I've got to be a little bit careful because we don't have um, handrail up there, so we'll work off ladders and that type of shit, but that should be alright. Um, and yeah, hopefully give you a bit better idea how to lay out a truss and girders and all that type of shit. So, yeah, let's go. I'm just starting our trusses out. Number one thing you gotta do is make sure your wall's straight and plumb. Um, so I'm doing this by myself. I've got each end of my walls plumb and then I've got a string line in between. Um, so this is what we use. Even with you, when you're working with someone, this is still handy. You shoot a stick on like that and it just gives you a bit of leverage to pull on your wall however you need to. So we'll do a mark here and I've got to move the wall 10 mil so I'll lean on it sound like kind of bad pull it a little bit past 10 mil because I think it'll go back a few shots you jump up here and check to your string line and bang 20 mil so I did rip that stud out of the wall a little bit but that's alright should hold and then once the plates are all shot down we'll fucking hit that stud back in and fix it up so you just work your way along every few meters um when you're doing trusses like you don't have to have like obviously starting with the straightest walls possible is the best way to do it but it's not uncommon for us we will like straighten one side um and we'll pin the tail of the truss off to this end um, and then we'll pull that other wall straight with these trusses. So, because the trusses are like a set length. Um, but yeah, it's kind of easy to just push and pull the wall in and out to suit based on the trusses. Um, it's a faster way of doing it than just running a string line all the time. Because um, otherwise you end up, you have to fucking, like we've got this propped every couple of meters down this wall. Um, you got to do the same down that side, whereas Pinning it to the trusses straight, all you're doing is relying on these ones being good, so this speeds you up a little bit. So part two is actually start laying out the trusses. Um, these ones are all 600 centers. Like it is really fucking basic to do. I'll try and, I got a GoPro here, so I'll try and do like an overhead shot of how it actually looks at the plans. Um, once it's kind of explained to you, like it's basic. So firstly you want to start off at the right end of the building. Um, so fast, it's down here. Um, and then you pretty much just run to this measurement. So that's hooked onto the outside of your plate and that's to the inside of your girder truss. So that's hook on and on. And you just find that TG1 truss and you stand it up there. So you get your parallel at each end. So you go 2, 4 and 2, 4. The other thing worth noting as well is these J2s will be the same measurement. So hook on 2, 4 and go. Hook on 2, 4 and go and that'll be your J2s. Um, and then these will all just be 600s. That's <laughs> pretty much it, as basic as of an explanation of trusses as I can do for you. Um, and you've got your measurements through here and you just have an odd spacing in the middle. Um, they'll tighten. These ones will look a little bit different because you've got the weight of the AC unit there. 
um, and you just keep following that all the way through. So for me, I'll probably work up this side and then I'll come back through and I'll work through this side. Um, this side's a little bit different up that front end. Um, if you do get across there and then I'll just butt into it. But yeah, this one's a basic as fuck roof. Um, so it's just mainly making sure everything's straight and then it should work out pretty well. So yeah, I'll start marking it out and we'll have a look at it. So this will be like a little bit of trust terminology. Um, TGT is truncated girder truss. So a girder truss is something where like all these jacks will butt into it. Um, truncated is because the top's cut off it and the hips will run up over the top. You'll notice on the girder truss, so it's got that yellow beam on the bottom there. It's that second one down. Um, it's an LVL to carry the weight because it does have the rest of the roof or this half of the roof butting into it. Um, the other thing I'm not sure you might have noticed or you might not have, that's my girder truss mark there. And then see how it loads onto a double stud. Um, and then the rest of them, this isn't as common because the stud spacings are so big. We'll point load it onto a stud as well. Um, so all of the weight of the roof directly loads down onto something in the wall um, and goes down to the bottom story as well. Usually we'll just do a double top plate and we'll put studs at 450 centers, not 600s. Um, and that makes up for not having, yeah. So you don't have to point load everything then, um, which is just easier. This is prefab, so they work it out with a computer and build the walls in a factory. Um, but when you stick building, so putting the walls together yourself, it just takes fucking ages to go through and work out each um, truss position because you have to work it out downstairs as well unless they're all landing on beams but for the most part you'll have to work it out downstairs and put studs in there too. out those trusses as well that's laying on the ground like the jack trusses and where the hip lands um, it's just a heap easier than trying to do all standing up um, if you see it close up later on there's like this little fireproofing detail here it's not exactly normal normally we wouldn't have a way on top of the wall but this one we do um, so yeah now we just stand it up and then i'll put the hips in jacks and off we go let's go Stand the girder truss, I'll probably do a prop on it, but this one's pretty small, like it should fall over with the nails in the end. Um, it should stay up at least long enough for me to get the hips in. Like a quick side note that guy over there on that frame i don't know if you can see i'll like zoom in it's like just the one down there with the walls laying on the ground he got here at like seven o'clock on friday 
Um, he started marking out some plans and shit. His apprentice got here at like, I don't know, 7.30. Um, that was one day's work for him and one other guy. So his apprentice didn't leave the drop saw all day. Um, but like, yeah, that's a fuckload of work done in a day. I was, I think I spent most of my day just watching him and watching how he does it. Um, yeah, fucking so impressive. He like, didn't break a sweat at all. Just fucking, I don't know, just fucking motored through it. Anyway, unimportant, but a good story. <laughs> the other thing that's pretty important to do when it's at this stage before you fill up your, um, go to truss is to check it straight as well. So on a little truss like this, you're just able to eye it um, and you should get it pretty good. Um, on bigger trusses, that's like pretty straight. Um, bigger trusses, you got a string line. Like if you're on a 12, 14 meter truss, it's nothing to have 100 mil in the middle of it. Um, and it just fucks everything, because then obviously these are 100 mil too far that way. Just string line you go to truss if it's not already straight. Um, and then so yeah, you'll pin a block to the, like a length to that wall and hold it straight on here where you need it. That's how we do that one. That the ones we want fucking stuck on the bottom there. We'll do a quick pass up, we'll just pass up the ones we need. We're not gonna stay for ages today. I pretty much just came to make this fucking video. It's like kinda like put a bit of effort into these so you actually like get something out of it by watching it. But then on the same hand it's like I still have to like make money. <laughs> YouTube doesn't pay the bills. Um so yeah, that's why I'm here on a Sunday because then I can actually like take the time to film this shit properly for you. So yeah, anyway. To do a bit of a pass up because the train driver was a bit of a cocksucker the other day and didn't put all our shit up here. Um, this is what it is, it happens a fair bit. For the rest, now I'm gonna lay out all my jacks and creepers. So, jack is a jack because it butts into the girder, and the creepers are creepers because it butts into the hip. Um, your hips, your hip because they're on an angle. It's roofing terminology for you. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get all that laid out so when I jump up, I can just walk down the hip shoot them all to the bottom cord, eye up my hip, uh, straighten it out, and yeah, go from there. So, like, now you're at this stage, it goes pretty quick. creepers going in nicely um, and then by the time we plumb up 
yeah, by the time we get this section here plumb, that one's done, they should meet nicely. You pretty much want them to look like that when you're done. Um, and then everything else will plane through at the right height. And then, so see how that kind of bows out a little bit that way? When we put those creepers in down that side, I'll push them on and push on this side a little bit more to straighten it up. Probably same with that side. I'd say these are all stacked the same way in the pack and that's why they look consistently bowed. Kind of it. Um, once you get that down pat, like that's standing up your common trusses. Um, my only other thing, really, on top of that's like valleys and that kind of stuff. But yeah, if you can like pick up a set of plans and lay out that, it's pretty fucking helpful. Um, it, yeah, like I'm hoping now you've sort of seen it done, like you realise there's no magic or anything like that to it, not a truss roof anyway. Um, just the main thing is making sure you do it all safely. Uh, not just you falling, but like, obviously when I hang up all my creepers, there's a risk of one of them coming down on me. So you just gotta be aware of your surroundings pretty much the whole time. Um, start at the bottom, straighten and plumb everything. If you're trying to do this on fucked walls, it's not gonna go that well. If you're trying to do it with bent girders, it's not gonna go that well. If you're trying to do it without a plumb girders, it's not gonna go that well. Um, but yeah, there's just like all those little things will compound and if it's good then you'll get a good roof, it'll be nice and flat, like look down that, everything planes in nice, they're all at the right height, um, so the roof, I don't even know what this is, if it's tile or fucking tin, um, but the roof is not going to complain because obviously when they batten it, it makes more work for them if it's fucking up and down and wavy. Um, in the worst case is you're gonna come back and fix it anyway, so you might as well get it right while you're here doing it now. It's easy, you don't have to cut any nails, you just fucking yeah, take your time and get it done. It works out for the best, so I'm gonna just keep standing the rest of these. They're a bit of a bitch because I've got to cut fucking 45 off each end. Uh, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I'm not gonna stay too long. I can't be fucked. Okay, I've got some shit to do this other. Fucking edit this. I'll try and get it out tonight. We've been kind of right with that one a week, so hopefully we can keep that running. So the rest will probably just be a time lapse, but I don't really know how long I've fucking rambled on for, so it might end up being a long video anyway. Yeah.
up now, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So you have your girder plumb, and then the rest just follow on from there. And then every, like, so that truss, I'll check for straight and plumb again, and then I'll keep going. There's like, I think it's 50 mil over a truss, you can be out of plumb, but like, if you don't have to sit right on the edge of what's fucking within code and what's not, I wouldn't. Um, uh, Sunday morning, I can't, can't, can't be fucked, so I'm just gonna. Um, I'm back here Monday like I was initially planning to. Um, it was mostly because I realised I didn't have a video for this week. I started the other day trying to film doing this party wall. Um, and I just got sidetracked because we got busy and didn't. So I had like, I don't know, half a video of that ready to go. Um, but yeah, I started editing it and it was just fucking boring. So I thought I'd come do this truss roof because there's a bit more value in it for you. So yeah, anyway, I'll throw up the drone and fucking do a bit of a fucking look from afar for you, but yeah. So it'll end up looking like this roof. So we ended up, the builder was pretty keen to get this job done and the other chippy, he didn't bail on it, he was just real fucking busy. So we ended up coming in and finish off these two. And that one over there where the boys are standing walls on Monday. Um, so pretty cruisy roofs. Got fucking one box gutter down here in the one valley. There's fucking what two valley trusses. These little ones here that sit on top of your other trusses. Um, yeah, it's about as easy as a roof as you can get. So yeah, we we'll call it our day. We got our video. If you're watching this and it's got ads, it's because we got monetized during the week. So I was pretty fucking stoked about that. Um, not that money's everything, but it's kind of fucking cool, to be honest. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That's that. Oh, quick side note. That one down there where like all those fucking toilets are, I'll zoom in on it. It's like a 24 unit site. And I think we've got 17 of them to do if we want them. So, it'll be a fucking good job. No steel in it. Um, all prefab, the prefab walls are a bit shit. See? I might do a close up of the other camera. See that fucking metal bar in the wall there? Because of the timber shortage, they're replacing noggins with that. Um, this is kind of fucking staggering and sad all at the same time. <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. It fucking keeps us moving, but yeah, just working on these houses is fucking shit. So, this is one of our builders, and the other one, they're good for timber, so we're stick still stick building for them, which is nice. So, I wouldn't really want to do this fucking full time. Baby shit.